My name is Mary Feli, and I'm sitting in the living room of my good friend, Alan Taylor. My name is Arona Siegel, and I am playing, as you can see, the violin. My name is Alan Taylor. I am 87 and a half years old. Usually every Monday I play duets with Alan, piano duets. And uh, today Mary joined us. Sometimes we have a trio. Well, this particular group has met about two years, I would say. And it's a thrill. I have different groups, and tomorrow I will be having a quintet. The Sullivan School of Music is a wonderful place. There was a local newspaper, the Northeast Times, had a little advertisement about playing adult chamber music at Sullivan School. You got to check out the Settlement Music School adult chamber players. The plus minus 60 senior players. I really did not know about this. And I started meeting all these adult, mostly retired players. We wound up getting involved down at the original branch at Queen Village. I actually ran the program for about seven years in the 20 teens. And it's there where I met Alan. I started playing when I was six years old. My mother had played the violin, so it was automatic that I would be doing something in the musical field. And uh, I suppose she chose the piano. I, I really do not recall that, but uh, I'm certainly happy that she did. Alan is probably one of the most amazing chamber pianists I know in terms of just being able to sit down and read through anything, and he keeps the music going and he just has a musical soul. I'm amazed at how well Alan plays. He'll play anything and he can play anything. When you play with a player who's better than you are, it helps raise your game. And Rona is an excellent sight reader and just keeps the pace going and it's just fun to play with both of them. I live in Northeast Philadelphia. I've been in my house for 61 years and I have people coming in, I would say, every day of the week, except for this coming Saturday. So if anybody wants to come over here, you're welcome. My favorite composer, hands down, is Bach, J.S. Bach. And I love Mendelssohn. He wrote some beautiful music for chamber. Beethoven is hard to beat. Beethoven was a tough guy. I mean, he uh, was an entrepreneur. He made sure his music was well known and got published and got compensated for that. Very passionate, very dramatic. There's some beautiful parts. It just, it almost brings tears to my eyes. It's all great. The beauty of chamber music is, you know, you only need a room and a few players and a stack of sheet music and you go. You don't need to hire a conductor or a big hall or any of that nonsense. It was invented for playing in people's homes and it still works today. Well, for chamber music, I love to play Haydn and Schumann. I mean, Haydn, even though he was born in Austria, wound up in England and where he was extremely popular. Schumann is uh, very emotional and really gets inside of you as you're playing. It's just. There's just something about it that, uh... of course, I, I love it all. We make scheduled dates when we are through playing so that we're sure that we're about to play again, maybe two, three weeks from now. And uh, this is, just goes on and on and on like that found out that Alan and I live very close to each other. I live two and a half blocks. Alan's son, Jay, good boy. he loves his dog, and I got to know Milton. He, he, he's, he's pretty good, though, when they're playing. He just sits there. After I play, I usually take Milton out for a walk. I just love to do it. He's a wonderful little dog. Alan introduced me to a lot of people who he played with. Many wonderful musicians with whom 
You socialize. It isn't just playing music. Networking, music networking. It's enjoying company of other people. Here I am today, years later, playing with Alan. I hope to meet more. So I'm quite involved for an old goat. And uh, I just think that uh, life has been wonderful for me. I'm just uh, grateful that we can do what we do and just continue, well, I can't say forever, but for as long as possible. From Alan Taylor's house in Northeast Philadelphia, thank you for watching Weekend Filler.